Hello, welcome back to the vlog. Bit of a different one this time around. As you can see here, I've got this DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo. This is like the uh, content creator, YouTuber camera that everyone and their mum has. Decided to get one myself. So let's do a bit of an unboxing and see what's inside and what you get for your money. And then I guess the later parts of this vlog will be a bit of a test run with the camera. Just gonna use my cat's hairbrush. Real quick, if you are interested, this is what you get in the box. Not a bad deal. You can just get the camera by itself, but it doesn't seem like that's really worth it. I think they're trying to push you to get this little bundle. Nice little carry case, documentation. Oh, it's like a whole bunch of stickers, like a whole stack of DJI stickers. That's cool, I guess. <coughs> Empty box and a lot of little, I'm sure this is like cables or something. This is the case, like the hard case, nothing else. A couple of QR codes for like apps. Probably not gonna download those. Quick start guide. Let's open this hard case. Protective cover. Here's the main events. Ooh, nice little pouch. Oh, why did I smell it? And here it is. Screen protector on it. We'll peel that off. This is the extra battery handle. Little microphone. Hello, hello, just kidding. I'm wearing this one. I think this is the main battery. Oh, no, this is just a handle with another thread on it. This is the wide angle lens, the little chargey cable, wrist strap and thing for the microphone, like a little fuzzy thing to stop the wind. And whatever this is, what is this? Oh, it's a microphone clip magnet. That's pretty cool. Let's read this quick start guide. I probably have to charge the camera, don't I? Got to get this DJI Mimo app. Get an SD card that's sold separately. Turn it on, blah, blah, blah. This manual is all just kind of pictures. So you just kind of have to like guess what's going on like an Ikea manual. At least it gives you a little packing guide on how like everything fits into the bag. That's cool. It doesn't say you have to charge it up, but I might as well do that and make sure everything's all hunky-dory before we give it a little test. But let's peel this together. Not bad, satisfying. And I might as well assemble the mic stuff. So we've got the mic. There's a wrist strap, little windshield. It just goes into the lavalier input on the mic. So that's pretty cool. I guess that's it. The mic's cool and see-through, which is pretty nice. There's a little battery handle. There is another little peely thing. Nice. Oh wait, where's the mini tripod? There's a mini tripod. Did I point this out? Very nicely packaged. I would say it feels premium. Look at this. Play. That'll plug into the battery handle. All right, I'll be back when everything's charged. Okay, so it's actually the morning after that unboxing. Uh, basically left these to charge overnight, not that it needed that long. But anyways, as you can see, I've fully assembled my new sword. Uh, I've got the uh, little extendable tripod, oh, not extendable, sorry, but um, tripod extension here. So that kind of stands up like that. Whoa, no hands. And then they've got the battery handle. Uh, so you can actually charge both of these once the battery handle's plugged in just through there. So that's pretty cool. There's like a little display showing both of the battery levels. I actually haven't really read, I've downloaded the app on my phone, but I'm currently filming on my phone. So hopefully it doesn't need the app. And I'm just gonna turn it on. For the very first time, you're gonna see my first reaction. And I've got the microphone here. I've also charged this. So we'll see how it goes. So the way to turn it on uh, generally is just by twisting this screen here. So let's give it a crack. Looking good. They're pointing at me. Ah, why did it do that? Ooh, what's that? English? Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, English, I guess. Activate before use. Um, <laughs> it says I can skip five times before activating. So let's just do that for the purposes of this video. All right, and there we are. There's me through the gimbal. So, uh, it's basically, this is my first time obviously ever turning it on, so it uh, is telling me everything to do. Okay, so let's try and turn on this microphone. I just press it once. Do I hold it? Oh, that's record. Here's the power button. Doesn't look like it's synced. Oh, there we are. Hello. Hello, my baby. I guess it's probably time to just start recording. There aren't actually like really any buttons on this. So I'm gonna press record. I just don't wanna make sure I get anything weird in it. In three, two, one. Oh, made a little beep sound. What the hell? When I pressed record, then it put up a bunch of like tutorials. Anyways, so now uh, I'm looking at the gimbal and if I tilt it that way, it just 
doesn't lock on me because it's not locking. If I tilt it that way, <laughs> it's just cool. So it is what it is. I'm not really sure about the camera moves here or anything like that. Um, okay, so what do I want to do, right? So let's put this microphone down. Let's do face auto detect. Camera will follow face inside the focus frame. Oh, that went on too fast. But anyways, look at me. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> What's up? How you going? Are you getting dizzy? I am. Whew. Okay, so that was pretty cool. And the framing. <laughs> the framing here is um pretty good. I like it. I've got a selfie stick ordered but, uh, to make it so I can obviously extend it longer. But for the moment, it's actually pretty wide. It's wide enough for my purposes. I kind of don't want to like be super selfie vibes. So I'll just hold it kind of glued to my arm like this, looking back at my phone now. And I think that's good enough for framing for me. So if we move around, it kind of just tracks my face. How good. Nice. I like it. Let's just figure this out as we go. How do you turn this off? Exit face auto detect. So if I do that, it moves around. It does not track my face, but I'm obviously keeping it towards my face. Um, so it kind of just stabilizes the footage. Interesting. Very cool. And then just kind of recenter it by pressing it twice. I think that's it for this little quick test. See you out there in the real world. Yeah, I can't transition to both cameras. What if I do this? And welcome back. As you can see here, I'm on a relatively empty train. Um, going to the showgrounds. I don't know if you just heard that announcement. Um, we're headed to Art of the Brick at the Melbourne showgrounds. So this will be a real world test of the uh, camera and its vlogging capabilities. And, you know, just to see how it performs. And I'm just using the Creator Combo as I've unboxed it. I don't have a little selfie stick yet, but I do have the uh, adjustable handle. So that's why uh, objects may appear larger than in real life. But anyways, we've arrived here at the uh, station. We have got this whole carriage to ourselves. Pretty much the platform to ourselves. Okay, what are those people doing? Showgrounds. This train will be terminating now. And here we are at the showgrounds. You can kind of see what I'm seeing. Hello. Pretty windy day here in Melbourne. It's kind of been the norm for the time being. Ooh, interesting. Lots of people. By lots of people, I mean two people, but anyways. Trying on the platform. This is what it looks like when I'm in direct sunlight. Direct sunlight, image test. And wind. Got the little windshield here. I think I might be uh, just yelling into this microphone. The, the audio meter is very high. Got no wide angle lens on this and I don't really want to because it, um, holy jeez, this is, it's windy. <laughs> Cause I don't want to, uh, the camera doesn't apparently close properly if you leave the wide angle lens on. Like it won't like tuck itself away. So, so I kind of like this. Anyways, Melbourne Showgrounds, been here a couple times for NotFest. Uh, been here a couple times for vaccinations. <laughs> Am I right? I wonder if that's going to get the uh, little COVID-19 information thing put on my video, but who knows, we'll see. Give you guys a look. Great big pie in the sky. Really putting the uh, camera to task here with how bright it is. We're a bit early for our reservation at the uh, Art of the Brick. We did it for a three, but we're here around 2.30ish, but hopefully, you know, they let us in a bit early. And it's also the second last day. So definitely by the time this video comes out, it'll be gone, long gone, but you know, we'll give the review if it ever comes back. It'll be a nice reference. There we are. Oh, can't really see it. <laughs> but anyways, it says Art of the Brick, immersive experience by Nathan Sawaya. So apparently that's the exit over there. And we're going to where events come alive. This is where all the toilets were at Juicy Fest. I'm standing in a toilet. Wow, there's exhibit number one. Here we are out the front. Oh, that guy's ripping his heart open. Papa Roach styles here in the agriculture hall. And easy enough to get inside and we're in. It's Zordon from Power Rangers. The artist has become a kind of Michelangelo with his incredible sculpture. I'm Nathan Sawaya. I'm thrilled you chose to come. Got to admit, I thought he was Asian. Okay. Oh, and there he is. <laughs> There's a lot of these. Oh, but there's the main one. Hello, look at me. Sneaky, sneaky. Apparently it's big yellow here in the shed. Isn't this where um, 
the animals were. Body worlds, yeah, but also the animals. <laughs> we're here in uh, Big Yellow. What do you reckon that this is the original one and not just like a recreation? I think it's the real one. You think it's the original one? Maybe. I I'm yellow too, according to some people. It's pretty cool. There's like little, uh, little muscles, little striations. <laughs> But after Big Yellow, it's so funny. They're just like, here's the one you wanted to see. All right, here we are. We've got a, whoa, cool. Rainbow Infinity. Rainbow Infinity. Well, rainbow people, we're all the same inside. I think that's kind of what it's going for. I don't know why he's doing the drip pose. Hello, hello, rainbow men. Hope you're enjoying your time. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's like, it's me. I'm the last rainbow man, brown man. Oh wait, there's already brown man. Oh, I'm coming for his throne. Anyways. I wonder if it's anatomically correct. Hello, oh, I'm so wet. <laughs> kids show, kids show. This is called large cloud. Name's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. And now we enter Helmet World. Oh, it's Lando Norris's helmet, 2024 helmet. Hello, I'm Lando Norris. I drive a fast car. It's got like UV reactive. Whoa, check out my mic. Whoa, check out my shoes. Pretty cool. Pretty schmicko. Whoa, humanity. Well, this is a real thinker. We're a real thinker of a section. You can't tear each other down. Build each other up. This descriptions. Anger and hatred can eat you up. It can make you sick. The pit at the bottom of your stomach, you might feel, might be physical pain. <laughs> it's, it's written really weirdly. It might be sickness growing inside and that sickness then affects you outside. This is a, cool, it's cool stuff. Not for me, personally. I just want to see like dinosaurs. Whole bunch of stuff here. I don't think we need to go into detail. Except for this guy, whoa, reaching up. Whoa, one in the front's cup and a bit of a feel. Check out this zebra lady. What that thing do? I actually like the zebra stripes, it's pretty cool. Got the dogs out. I gotta admit the sculptures are cool. The descriptions are straight booty sometimes. <laughs> They're written very simply, which is fine. Double cheeked up. Damn, that one's really cheeked up. Hello, we're both in the vlog. Can't even touch its arm though. Hello. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, it hurts. Yum, 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 yum. Perfect. Put your elbow down more. Oh, that's pretty good. Looks like the rock's yellow part. The projections are cool, but the music is very 10 hours motivational YouTube. This is great. So much to see. This isn't Lego. Oh, look at the pedals. What is this? A little whale. Oh, is that the eye? I thought the eye was up here. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's, it's just turned into the desert. Oh, I'm parched. I wonder how it's, that's a thing. Like, I reckon that's gotta be, is it? Yeah, I don't think it's like illegal to say it's glued. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to uh, the underwater portion of this tour. There's a cheetah. Hello. Underwater cheetah. It likes it. Shouts out to Harambe. Well, cool. Is that it? And here we are in the gift shop slash immersive play area. 
Oh, I see. So it's got like predetermined um, shapes or whatever, sculptures, and then you color it using these public crayons. <laughs> you want to play Legos? Why are they? They're just like in there. Sure, let's color in. Uh, thing. Oh, this is cool. You want to do a clown's dog or, or a tiger? I'll just, I'll just film you do yours. Fine, we'll do it together. I'll do a clown's dog. What are you going to go for? Yeah, oh, wait, I'm, I'm doing clown's dog. Oh. I like red. Ooh, purple's pretty cool. Oh, it sounds like a Yu Gi Oh theme song. You're going to do a biologically accurate tiger? Did you like colouring as a kid? Yes. I hated it. So this is my finished piece. And then how it works is that after you colour your drawing, you put it on the scanner, press the button, take it back, and then it should appear on this like thing. Would you like to explain your drawing? No oh, yeah. explanation required. No explanation needed. Real fans of the channel know who this is. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I love it. This is awesome. We'll show it to her later. And this is your final finished piece. I think the rendering is pretty accurate for reference. Here she is, baby pickles, Lego tiger form. What were the biggest challenges in the accurate rendering of this uh, depiction of a cat? The limited color palette, she has five different colors whereas I'm limited to three different crayon colors. So I try to best represent her um, and I hope she understands. Time to scan. Let's get it scanned. What the hell? It needs to be darker. Anyways, that's fine. This will come out good. Wow, that's come out really nice. Okay, let me get some closer footage of this. Mine came out not that great, but that's fine. And here we are back outside in the wind after finishing Art of the Brick. Overall, I reckon it was a fun experience. Um, we got it at 30 bucks each because it's like the second last day and they really wanna, I guess, just make the most of it, encourage people to come out. Uh, 30 bucks, uh, whatever, <laughs> it is what it is. You're not really, not a lot of different places to do that. So for that, I would give it a uh, seven and a half out of 10. If it's ever in your town or if it comes back to Melbourne, be sure to check it out if it's this, your sort of thing. And here we are headed back onto the train. Yeah, we actually got pretty lucky with these trains today because yeah, anyone that lives in Melbourne would know that this train line doesn't actually run all the time. It only runs for like special events. And I think there's a little uh, carers slash disability slash, you know, ability expo on elsewhere on the showground. So that's kind of why they're running this train line. So got pretty lucky, all things considered. Next time we'll be here is either for a Juicy Fest. Is it Juicy Fest or is it Flemington? I don't know. Or oh, not fest. Oh yeah, might be here for good things. Now we're gonna head to uh, back to the satay. <laughs> Get something to eat before our dinner plans. Okay, we're here in Southern Cross. I don't know if you can hear anything. It's very loud. But we're gonna go to Melbourne Central. Hello. Train time. Here at Melbourne Central, more like Melbourne hectic. Does that make any sense? <laughs> the plan is to go to QV, get a little present for your nephew, get a little snacky before our dinner. Basically what we did in that other vlog. Here in bread top. Ooh, sausage bun, classic. Ooh, bacon's look good though, I'm not gonna lie. Do a naan. Let's go that much red bean my cheek. Reckon? Okay, let's do it. And there are our spoils. What are your memories of the sausage bun? My childhood. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Just sat here in line. First time in a big W in ages. Whoa, what the hell are those? Boba Mex. Oh, that's so cool, sir. sir that's so cool. It's so big. Oh, I think the it's, $5. it's like only powder and like it's only from bubble cup. 
time for snackies. We're literally gonna eat in like less than an hour. Better. I'm hungry. Hello. Comment down below what your uh, milk tea order is. Okay. Okay, sat here again in the QV courtyard. As always, a uh, bloody milk shark here. Worst. This drink's just sitting there for two minutes, waiting for it to be collected. How long do you reckon? Was it? 10 minutes, you reckon? We already made a smaller one of this. That milkshake gets a 2 out of 10. It's only, we're only getting it because it's convenient. We're in a rush. Hope you guys see this. Got my little mochi donut. I got a taro jasmine green tea latte. We'll see if it's good. It's whatever. Matcha donut. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's like paste inside. It's okay. Funny. Really testing the limits of this wind shield. They messed with the wrong ones today. Nostalgic flavor. Mm -hmm. Also got a naan. Do I eat it lengthways or just bite into the folded version? Do you bite into the folded version? I think for the sake of the wind, I, I would eat it that way, but normally yeah. I eat it in no, I'm full of cheese and onion and garlic, I guess. Do you like crispy cheese? Okay. Mm -hmm. The onions in this joint are so good, they're the best. Nice and juicy. Back on the train again, heading to uh, North Richmond. This is our third train line of the day. Possibly fourth, technically. Oh yeah, true. Gotta gotta maximize your all day fare. But yeah, still hate that QV milk shot. Okay, we made it to North Richmond Station, Victoria Street, classic, absolutely brilliant. Oh, there we are. There's my parents. Why are you wanting to go back up? For the first ten years of our life, we always pass by here because we go. Our accountant used to be here. Somewhere here, Sarah yeah. Pantan. And we know that I, this is I, the way to go. We should a, not be bringing our car. We didn't even know there's a. We should be parking train. And we always do train. that every year that we have to go to. Yeah. Check out my camera. Yeah. yeah. This should be your new camera. I'm gonna get you one of these. For, you're gonna love it so much. Because look, look at this. Look. One, two, three. Yeah, it changed. Now it's selfie mode. Okay, we're now here at uh, North Richmond Station, heading back into the city to head back out onto our respective train lines. Um, how do you rate dinner, Mum? Great! It was a wonderful celebration. Yummy food to be had. And you're, you're partial to a soy sauce chicken? <laughs> very partial. And the clam. I don't know what the name of the dish is, the clam. Spicy, eggy clams, kind of like yeah. chili crab, but for clams. Anyways, yes. Dad? Oh yeah, everything's good. 10 dishes, 10 out of 10. Mm. <laughs> wow, that's great. Fantastic. <laughs> Good synergy there. Well then, that'll about wrap it up for this uh, test vlog on the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Okay, Dad's already waving prematurely. I'm still having final thoughts. Um, we're here under a uh, tungsten lamp, you would call this. Yep. Yellow light. I'm on auto white balance, so we should be yellow. <laughs> Not in the way you're thinking of. Um, and yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, till next time. <laughs>